What is good, everybody? Today we are back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Closet, or that's kind of just the series name here, because anytime I get a package of custom WWE Action Figure clothing, we put it on the, we, we pretty much have a fashion show here in the backstage area, or in the filming area, man. We take all of the stuff that we got from whoever we got it from, and I showcase the figures that we're going to fix up, and then we kind of transition, and I showcase all of the figures fixed up with all the Action Figure clothing, and I want to go through it, and I want to showcase this, and if you guys want to pick these up, this package of items does come from my man Elite Threads on Instagram. I'll put his handle up there and a link in the description below. You can go hit him up. Very high quality stuff out there, man. One of the top guys in the business for sure. And he is a reputable source here for custom WWE action figure clothing. And this package does come to us from him. And I am excited to dive into it with you today, man, because we got some good stuff here, man. Very bloodline heavy, as it always is, I feel like. And I think it should be a good day, man. I'm really excited about these because there's some really cool fix ups that we're going to make here today. And it should be really awesome. So what we have here, we have a couple Jey Usos, we have a Jimmy Uso, we have the Tribal Chief himself, and we have the Final Boss. So all of WrestleMania 40 kind of wrapped up in a bow right here, excluding a couple guys, but you know what I'm saying, man. But let's go ahead and dive into the different clothing that we have. Shut the hell up and get into it. So the first thing we have here, man, is going to be the Final Boss. We have the Final Boss vest right here with the Brahma Bull, and you will see here, this is very nice because it's not cut in the middle, you know, and I think this is genius to already have it buttoned because it looks really quality on the figure itself and I don't really know because I don't have I need to get custom decals for the new Brahma Bull tattoo since we don't have an fit I know we're getting one in what Elite 114 or 115 but that's a ways away man I know Elite 110 is shipping right now if you guys pre-ordered Elite Series 110 if you were on that first pre-order it should be shipping to your door any day now hopefully mine arrives soon and I hope mine doesn't get caught up it's always like at a bad time where I won't get them until Monday possibly which would be stinky but you got to let's just live life, man. Nonetheless, you guys know I usually get the figures last in, in terms of shipping and stuff like that, but we do have our vest here for the final boss, and we do have the white pants. Now, my only issue is if I take this jacket off of my current final boss, you will see the Brahma Bull tattoo instead of the updated tattoo, which kind of bothers me, but we do have two different vests here. So we have this version right here, which I think he wore with black pants, and then we have this version, which I do believe this is his WrestleMania 40 attire, or WrestleMania 40 Night 2 attire, I should should say. And I don't know what I want to do here. Should I just fix this figure up, put sunglasses and a necklace on it, and leave it like that, and leave this one by itself, and then just keep this by itself? I just really don't want that Brahma Bull tattoo out right now, if that makes sense, until I get the custom decals made. And I know we're probably going to get an ultimate final boss rock. We're probably going to get plenty of elites and the top picks wave and things like that related to the WrestleMania 40 storyline. But I don't know. I, I don't know what we'll do here, but you will see what we decide to do. I am going to take these, fix up our rock figures right here. Now, Next up, we did get these We The Ones Bloodline shirts here, and they are in the white and red. Now, one of them is not cut. I think I will have to cut that. I don't know where the hell my scissors are, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to cut them here today, but they look very high quality. Now, I am going to replace these shirts, but I have so many of this Bloodline shirt over here, and uh, we're going to put these over here, and that's not all because I, this... Hold on to your horses right here, man. All right, just, just hang tight with me. I want to say that I have some red shoes. I kind of want to keep it all white though but one thing that i am going to do and that kind of ties into our other clothes that we have over here you'll see that we have the main event jay uso yeet shirts over here so i'm going to take the elite 106 jay uso that's over here and i'm going to switch the arm right here so switch the arm between these two put the black jay uso shirt onto this and then put this onto here so he'll have a white sleeve with the black yeet shirt and the black yeet pants and then you're probably wondering well what the hell are you going to do about the red shoes. I have some extra John Cena shoes that I'm going to put over here. Now, another thing is, I don't, I may be able to put Deluxe Aggression shoes in here, and we'll see what that looks like. Uh, I'll have a look at that. We'll see. I, I'll have to go into my fodder bin and see. Actually, I just had a genius idea. Hold up. Now. Hold the phone, Brad. Hold the damn phone. Oh, my stars, for the love of lies, I may have just had a genius idea. And it may look terrible, but it may look sick as hell. I'll give you guys the option. You can choose for me down in the comment section below. All Alright, should we just put regular Ultimate Edition Cena shoes on like this? With the white outsoles, which would probably be fine, right? These would probably...
probably suffice and look fine because they would have break it up and it'd be the same shoe mold that the Jey Uso figure had. But what if we use these, dude? How sick would it be if we use the Deluxe Aggression Cena shoes? I think they would pop up in there. I'm not 100% sure. But the blue of these Deluxe Aggression Cena shoes would tie in almost, almost beautifully with the Yeet shirt right here. I'm kind of wanting to go with the blue kicks. I know it's not accurate, whatever, but it may make for a really sweet Yeet Jey Uso main event style right there until we get the Elite 114. I don't know how that just stuck to my hand right there. That was kind of weird, but I don't know. That I, I think I have to do that. I think that's... Uh, we'll see about that. We'll see what we're going to do there. We'll fix them up, but I am going to switch these sleeves here. So you kind of... You can see the vision. You can see the vision taking place. You can understand what we're trying to do here. But another thing that I wanted to do is put the Levels Above Roman Reigns shirt. We're going to put it on this promo gear here. You know, the beautiful man, but this is, this is what I've been begging for Mattel for. Right here, I've been begging. I've been begging for years, and they haven't given it to us. But instead of the We The Ones, I think the Levels Above shirt right here would look money to update this. You know, the We The Ones is kind of outdated, so we'll put the Levels Above. And I will still use the We The Ones shirt here and those Bloodline shirts. Any shirt that I take off, still going to use it in the collection in some capacity in the display. I just think that for the sake of the action figure closet, fixing these figures up, I think this is what we're going to have to do. So that's what we're going to do, man. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take this off here, and we are going to see exactly what this looks like and we will plop on our levels above shirt i'm actually really hyped for this i really wish i think i'm getting some more custom roman reigns head sculpts coming in hopefully very soon and we will have some more surgery for that figure and in you know making a man bun roman reigns since you know mattel's still lacking you know maybe we'll see it at comic-con i'm not holding my breath also on the back look at this it even has the roman reigns logo on the back so no velcro here man so that's what makes them great you got guys like uh, elite threads and, and pwr lucha always come with heat man but today we are doing some different shirts from Elite Threads right here. And I'm going to take a break and put the shirt on here. So here is our Levels Above Roman Reigns right there, man. That is sick as hell. I love that. I think that looks great. I really want the hoodie as well. So maybe I can work out something, get a hoodie over here or something like that. But there is our Tribal Chief. He's looking damn good right there, man. I like the way that new shirt looks. Now, over here, I don't know, man. I don't I don't know if I... This isn't action figure surgery, so I may just put the clothes on there and then... Or no, I, I'm going to have to take these clothes off first and then we can do the swap. And I know that I think this one has a red... Yeah, I may have to paint that or do something with that. But we are going to take these shirts off of the J and the Jimmy and then we will put on the We The Ones. Now, the good thing about Jimmy is that we don't have to fix up nothing. You know, you just remove his shirt, and then all is right in the world. So we will take that off, get that out of here. And again, we will use those at a later date. Just right at this moment, we are not going to use it. So don't want to waste any time there. But I'm going to go ahead and put on this shirt for this Jimmy. And boom, there we have Jimmy. Now we got to put on Jay's shirt. Well, Jay, Jay's going to require a lot. So, or no, not this one. But we do have to switch the sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. And then we will heat this up and whatnot. All right, what we're going to do, we have to switch the right arm of these guys. And I'm going to, I can't heat up the shoes as well. So that stinks. But what do you do, Brad? <laughs> Alright man, there we go. And all we gotta do now is pop this arm off right here. Pop this arm off right here. Then switch this red arm onto this white J. Fix that up right there. This is why we collect a lot of Usos, man. You collect that a lot of Usos so you can do all these fix-ups. But, alright, there's the white one. I don't think these got heated up enough. Oh, uh, just pops right out. Well, this one should too then. Dude, if I would've popped that peg off right inside that leg, I'd have broke my own foot off in my own A. Alright. So now for this J, we gotta sh we gotta heat these holes up right here. You know what? I'll just I'll show you what it looks like in a second. All right, man. Here's everything we've done today on the project. Let's get the white trusty hell. Get the get the hell out, Brad. But here's everything, man. I think the levels above Roman when you put the championship on it is Chef's kiss. This looks immaculate. I think it looks fantastic. Very happy with the way this turned out. I'm happy with the way all of them turned out for the most part. I would say here is the main event Jay Uso right here. I think that these shoes. I don't know, man. I think they look kind of clean. You know, I think I think they look pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I, I like them a lot, and I do need to like paint the hair or do something about the hair but for the most part i don't hate this man i think this looks pretty good for a main event jew so as a placeholder there's the shoes I'm trying to get like the full thing on screen so you can see 
what it looks like head to toe. I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. Like white shoes would probably be more accurate or the black and white would probably look good too. But I like this as like a change of pace, man. You know, not everything has to be 100% accurate sometimes. I think that, you know, just to make a cool fix up, that would do wonders there. But there's our main event, Jey Uso with the white sleeve and everything like that. And I like the way this looks, man. It looks pretty damn good. So now I have uh, the blue shirt with the white pants for, uh, you know, main event Jey Uso. And then I have this fix up right here that I like. And you guys know that Mattel is making their own, so that'll also be good. But cool placeholder right now for Jey Uso is this main event Jey Uso. And then we also have our final boss, Rock, back here, which uh, you'll notice that, oh my god, in heaven, and just, uh, ugh. You'll notice that I did not take down this Rock, and it's because I just feel like I don't need to have both Brahma Bull tattoos showing. So I'll leave the long jacket on there until we get the official one from Mattel. But this final boss, Rock, right here, still looks damn good using the Ultimate Edition. Threw some sunglasses, the necklace on there, and again, Need to get a decal for this, but he's not even on TV at this moment anyway, so I'll just use this as another placeholder until we get the official thing. But I like the way The Rock, Roman Reigns, and Jey Uso looks. And then over here, we do have our We The Ones bloodline, and we do have the red sleeve on this J. And I think that looks good. I like that. I would like a red sleeve on Jimmy, too, so they match. Or throwing the red shoes on both of them would also help as well. But for now, I think this is going to get my job done for now. I, I like this. I, I really like the Levels Above shirt on the Roman with the Undisputed Championship, with the watch. That is Chef's Kiss. I st I'm i still baffled to hell. How have we not gotten a man bun promo gear? Hell, I don't care if it's the track suit. I don't care if it's not the track suit, man. How, how do we not have a man bun faded beard head sculpt Roman Reigns? I mean, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Thicker beard, nice, handsome face. How how how's this not happening yet, man? It's just crazy. It blows my damn mind. They had it on the table in Elite 110, and they didn't do it. They just didn't do it. And hopefully that Elite 110 Roman Reigns is better than what we expect. I did like the promo images better than what I saw at WrestleMania 40 out in Philly when I saw the figure initially. Made me vomit on command. There was actual vomit on the display case. But seriously, though, I am looking forward to reviewing that figure along with the rest of Elite 110, and hopefully that will arrive soon. But that is pretty much going to wrap up Action Figure Closet here today, man. A huge shout-out to my man, Elite Threads. Thank you so much, brother, for the great package here with all of our figure packaging and custom figure clothing. Thank you so very much for that. If you guys give him a follow if you're interested in ordering any of these items or any others, he does take custom orders and stuff like that. So if you want to get in on that, definitely go hit my man up over there. He is a beast, so... I appreciate him so very much, and I also appreciate our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Love all those fellows over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, man. You guys are absolutely goaded, as always, but I think that is pretty much going to wrap up this episode of Action Figure Closet, or whatever the hell this is. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know at this juncture, but follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. Leave me all of your thoughts on all these things down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.